Morning, everyone. Right, let's uh, let's begin. I'm uh, Jonathan Bruff, and I'm Red Hat Product Manager at CMS Distribution. And this morning, I'm going to present to you a masterclass on Red Hat renewals. The aim of the session is to enable you to maximise your Red Hat renewal pipeline and process, and confidently engage with with your customers in the lead up to the renewal. The webinar should last around 40 minutes or so, and if you have any questions feel free to comment in the, the, the chat section of the webinar, and I'll um, try my best to answer the questions at the end of the session. The webinar will be recorded, and follow-up emails will be sent out uh, with additional information later today uh, or tomorrow morning. So don't worry about missing anything. We'll provide you with uh, the, the, the full information. So just to have a look at the agenda uh, for the webinar, first of all, we're going to have a look at uh, why Red Hat and CMS distribution. Um, who am I? Who's CMS distribution? Um, what is it that makes us successful um, with our managing our Red Hat renewal business? Um, and how can we help you? Uh, we then have a quick review of the Red Hat subscription model. Um, Red Hat's model is very unique in that it's an uh, annual um, subscription that a customer purchases, not a, a proprietary uh, license with ongoing maintenance like you typically see um, in this industry. Um, so it, uh, we'll, we'll cover that briefly because it's key to understand that. Uh, we'll have, then have a look at um, Red Hat's um, subscription education awareness program. Uh, this, is, this will cover their, their compliance and uh, how customers, um, uh, the knowledge they need to have to ensure that that they are staying compliant with Red Hat and how you can um, provide value to them um, by um, making them aware of that. Uh, we then have a look at the value of a Red Hat subscription for salespeople, um, as this is this webinar is all about sales enab enablement. Um, I really want to show to you why it's important for you to manage your Red Hat renewal pipeline and maximize it. Uh, we then uh, cover off uh, uh, the value of a Red Hat subscription for customers. So what is it about a Red Hat subscription that's so valuable um, to, to the customers. And you know, this sort of information will enable you to have those uh, conversations with uh, customers around renewal time. Um, then the most interesting part, we've, I've got um, four or five slides on upsell and cross-sell opportunities. Um, there are a number of ways you can upsell and, and maximize and add additional products um, into uh, the customer's renewal. Um, and I want to make sure everyone has a full um, understanding of every every way you can um, um, upsell, um, so we'll be covering that. Um, then we're going to have a look at how to handle objections. Um, so it's it's one slide on some of the general objections you see um, and and how you can ov overcome those. We're then going to review um, everything and go through the perfect um, process, or hopefully the perfect process. Um, then we're going to have a look at the resources available to you. Um, there's, there's a number um, of things available from CMS, from Red Hat to help you. Um, so I'll have a look at those. And then finally, we'll be getting to the question, question section. So feel free to um, throw every single question um, you have at me and, and uh, put me on the spot, and I'll try my hardest to, to uh, uh, give you the, the, the right information. So first of all, why CMS and Red Hat? Uh, CMS have been um, uh, working with Red Hat for around 15 years now, so we've got a very long-standing um, relationship. Um, this this means that we fully understand Red Hat's model. We've got relationships um, at senior management level um, with the, the sales teams, marketing teams, um, partner teams. Um, and this allows us to understand their organization and, and their model and, and support you um, with what it, whatever it may be, connecting you with the right salesperson, with the right partner account manager. Um, um, so that's very important to, to helping to enable you. Um, we have renewal rates in excess of 80%, which is um, the benchmark in, in EMEA. Um, and essentially, this is good for you, because if our renewal rates are 80%, it probably means that your renewal rates are pretty high as well, because ultimately, the more business you do, the more business we do. Uh, we've got a certified sales team um, who fully understands um, the Red Hat model. Again, with us working with Red Hat for such a long time, every single account manager here can support you, provide you with the, the right information to uh, maximize renewals. 
uh, we can provide renewal data and quotes six months in advance of uh, when the actual new, uh, renewal is due. Um, we can provide you with end customer information, your previous PO numbers, everything you need to identify that renewal, um, get it on your system and, and, and get quotes out. Um, and if anyone would like their renewal data um, after the call, um, please let me know and I'll uh, work to provide that to you. Um, we have pre-sales um, teams to answer any technical queries, so we can um, cover any sort of pre-sale sticking point, technical sticking point um, um, that, that there may be with the renewal. Um, again, we can upsell and, and we can find upsell and cross-sell opportunities. Um, so once we have a discussion um, during a renewal and, and, and we look at all the information, we can identify these before you have your chat with the customer. Um, we work with Red Hat in the background to qualify the renewals and pass the information to you. So what this means is prior to um, you necessarily um, necessarily being directly involved in the renewal, um, a customer would have already received um, a renewal notification 90 days, 60, 60 days and 30 days in the lead up to the renewal. And we work, we, we work very closely with the Red Hat renewals team um, and we can provide you with information and, and, and any, any background on, on the renewal to help support you. Um, so, so really we're, we're working together to, to close that deal. Uh, we can also do end customer um, technical and sales calls, so if you need me to jump on a call, um, let me know, it's something I do um, quite often. Um, and then we can also position um, co-terms, multi-year deals, we've got flexible tools here to ensure the quotes we provide you are um, correct and accurate and we can turn these around uh, very quickly um, so we can help to increase the deal size of, 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 the, new, of the renewal as well. So firstly, a review of the Red Hat subscription model, because it's very important to, to understand this uh, when it's renewal times. Um, um, just a caveat, Red Hat's portfolio has expanded um, over the last few years to include storage, clouds, uh, middleware, many other products. Um, what we're going to focus on today is uh, Red Hat Enterprise Linux uh, subscriptions with a little bit of JBoss, because this is most likely uh, will be what your renewal pipeline is, is, is made up of. Um, so we're going to focus on that, but of course um, there are other um, slightly different ways of um, subscribing um, customers with some of the different technologies. Um, um, so having said that, um, the basic rel server standard or premium subscription, um, it entitles a physical server, a socket pair, or provides um, two virtual machines. Uh, and this subscription is stackable. So if you have a customer with uh, four CPUs, they just need to buy two of those. Um, you've got an entry-level self-support option. Um, so this is for customers that don't require any technical support from Red Hat. Um, typically, non-machine critical environments, it entitles a physical server, two sockets max. So you cannot stack on this one. So if your customer's got four sockets, they need to go for the above supported subscription. Um, You've then got a virtual data center offering. Um, this provides unlimited virtual entitlements per socket pair for dense virtualization environments, um, and this is uh, stackable. Um, uh, you've got a JBoss. Uh, so typically, it's going to be JBoss EAP, Enterprise Application Platform. Um, that's the most common JBoss product out there. Again, there are standard and premium support options, and they can be purchased in 16 or 64 core bands. So this is subscribed differently to the above um, rail server subscription. Um, so it's quite key that uh, we, we, we understand that. Um, uh, there are add-ons available to extend functionality of, of the rail subscriptions, um, high availability, resiliency, um, increasing the, uh, the general performance. Um, so uh, at renewal times, we can be asking those questions. Um, there's also specific subscriptions for SAP, for SAP, HANA, for IBM Power, for HPC. Um, so we can dive into a bit more detail and un understand what the customers are, uh, are running the systems for um, and um, position the, the right subscription type. Um, and we've got one and three year SKU configurations. Three year includes a 15% multi-year discount um, and it's always worth positioning, positioning that. 
and uh, and the the support, as, as mentioned, the standard or premium support. I see the standard business hours support, or premium 24/7 um, support. So that is the uh, Red Hat subscription model. Um, moving on to C subscription education awareness program. Now, why have I got a slide in here on compliance? It's because Red Hat's model is so unique um, that it's important we fully understand um, what SEEP is um, and um, why we need to take it into consideration when we're talking to customers. So SEEP is Red Hat's compliance team. Um, they are a nice bunch um, compared to some other vendors out there. Um, and their, their, their aim is to, um, to educate a customer um, on how to use the subscriptions correctly, not to hit them with a big compliance bill. Um, so the, the customer accepts the enterprise agreement um, when creating a Red Hat account. Um, and one of the key components of the Red Hat enterprise agreement is essentially what is known as the all or nothing rule. So this means if the customer has any active subscriptions, all deployments must then be under a valid subscription. So the customer can't necessarily pick and choose which systems they want supported. Um, if they have an active subscription, they must cover everything. Um, so we need to take that into consideration and, and be asking the customer um, uh, to, to let us know um, the information on, on all of their estate. Um, as mentioned, we're going to educate the customer rather than hit, hit them with a bill. And what we're going to do is sell the value of the subscription to the customer. Um, that's how we're going to overcome seat cases uh, most of the time. Um, if there's any, uh, if there are any seat cases, um, raise it to ourselves and or Andy Tuckett, who is the um, seat uh, manager for EMEA at Red Hat, and we can keep in touch with him. And when you do find a seat case, backdating may be required, so the customer will have to backdate their their, their renewal. There's no reinstatement fees or anything like that on Red Hat. Um, but customers must backdate if if there there is a possible seat seat case. Um, so now we've got an understanding of the Red Hat model and the, the compliance um, process. We're going to have a look at the Red Hat subscription for you guys. Essentially, the why Red Hat subs are so important is the same price as the initial sale. So it's annual rec recurring revenue to you and your business. If you do a renewal for 100k this year, next year. It's probably going to be 100k. It might go down, might go up slightly, um, but that is crucial to maintain your Red Hat renewal business because you can forecast that year on year. Um, as mentioned, the renewals process is already made simple with Red Hat contacting the customer. So just working with Red Hat, working with us, we can really help you close that deal. Um, it's an opportunity for you to contact your customer around um, upsells, cross sells, and new projects. Um, who knows what? new projects they might be running. Um, if you do find some new, new subscriptions um, at renewal time, that equals Durage if you're an um, advanced or premier Red Hat partner. And if anyone has any questions on how to become one, we can um, uh, follow up af afterwards. Um, it's a good opportunity to position the Red Hat satellite management server. So what this is, is satellites um, complete management solution for their rail um, uh, for, for a customer's real uh, server state. This will allow them to patch manage, provision, deploy new systems. Um, it's um, quite an easy um, thing to position, um, to, to upsell. Customers have a lot of systems. But they're going to need help managing those. Um, they're not going to want to patch manage them one by one. Um, they'll require a more complete solution to help do that. Uh, this is something that we can help you with. We can arrange demos, pre-sales calls, show it off to the customer. Um, and this is something that arguably most customers over 20 subscriptions or so should have a look at because it's going to save them time and money um, when it comes to administering those servers. Um, you can build customer loyalty by showing value, um, by engaging with customers in the right way, with helping them understand the Red Hat products, the Red Hat model. Um, they're going to see that value. Um, so it's a way for you to build that loyalty with your, your customer. Um, as mentioned, it's an opportunity to sell additional products. So Red Hat have virtualization, they've got middleware, they've got storage. Um, we can talk to, to those, um, talk to the customer about those. We probably would name to include those in the renewal, but something that we can um, um, put in the pipeline and talk about 
um, um, in, in the future. Um, and ultimately, Red Hat is key to their infrastructure. They're going to be running their infrastructure, their critical infrastructure on Red Hat. It's an operating system. So let's take a consultative approach and explore their environment. It might have been uh, since they last purchased 12 months ago. Who knows what additional systems they've deployed, um, what's changed. Um, so the more we engage and ask those questions, the more we'll find. Uh, and just to uh, look at the value of subscription for customers, a nice um, uh, graphic here. Um, so you can see everything the customer is going to get, patches, updates, um, upgrades, um, critical security fixes, Red Hat security response team, they're, they're an, an award-winning uh, team who solved 98% of critical um, bugs that discovered within uh, 24 hours. Uh, they're going to get hardware certifications, software certifications, which are crucial in, in today's app-centric IT world. Um, stability with a product life, uh, life cycle of up to 10 years. So the customer purchases RHEL 6 or RHEL 7 today, they're going to uh, get support from Red Hat for 10 years. So that is stability um, and they can uh, plan their IT uh, on, on a Red Hat platform because of the long-term support there. Uh, and the, the key, uh, one of the key value adds from a subscription is the technical support from Red Hat. So this is unlimited incidents, um, business hours, 24 uh, or 24/7, um, email or telephone support. Um, and this is not just break fix. Um, Red Hat will um, support a customer with any sort of general um, usage question. Um, uh, you can make suggestions on, on requests for future versions um, and really work with Red Hat's engineering team to help solve your issue or, or look at um, something that Red Hat can add uh, in, in the future. And that's something that is very unique um, to, to, to Red Hat. Um, and uh, with a Red Hat subscription, you also get software assurance. So this is, uh, what this means is uh, with open source technology, there's any sort of... Um, Anything discovered in the code that uh, has any um, uh, potential issues, um, Red Hat will support the customer from a, a legal perspective as well as a technical perspective to, to, to help overcome that, that challenge. So this is key to understanding the slide um, to be able to have those uh, conversations with, you, with your customers in your, in your time. So on to the juicy bit, upsells and cross-sells. So first of all, let's have a look at how we can upgrade a customer support level. So let's say your customer's got 20 self-support subscriptions. Let's position standard support subscriptions to the customer. Self-support subscription is probably uh, is around 241 a list. Uh, uh, a, a standard support subscription looking at 551. So you can see you're essentially doubling um, the, uh, the size of your renewal there by positioning standard support. So what the customer gets in addition to the self-support subscription is um, either 9 by 5 or um, yep, 9 by 5 unlimited instance email and telephone tech support, key value add, and we've looked at the, the, the great support Red Hat offer in the previous slide. Um, access to Red Hat software collections for latest development tools. Um, this is key for customers who are using the latest and greatest open source te technologies and components that come contained with, uh, with, uh, on, on a Red Hat uh, technology. Uh, they can ensure they're receiving the latest versions of those um, to help with their, their development. Um, with supported subscriptions, the customer will get an additional virtual entitlement. Um, what this means is if your customer has uh, 10 self-support subscriptions, to cover 10 virtual guests, why don't they um, purchase five rail server subscriptions, as each provides two virtual machines, to cover those 10 guests? Um, and you have to buy one entry-level subscription per guest, whereas you only need to buy one rail server subscription per two guests. So essentially, it's the same cost, but the customer's getting a lot more value in that subscription. Um, so we should be um, thinking about that as well. Uh, with supported subscriptions, you can purchase add-ons to extend functionality. So you cannot actually purchase those on self-support. Um, they're getting stackable and repurposable subscriptions. These can be moved between physical, virtual, and cloud environments. Um, so if the customer is looking at 
putting something on Am on Amazon or their infrastructure is changing um, in the next 12 months, purchase supported subscriptions because they'll get the flexibility um, to be able to move those as required. That's something that is, is quite a key um, uh, piece of information as I've used that in the past to, to move to, to supported subscriptions. If your customer is on standard support, let's move them to premium 24-7, premium subscriptions around um, 896 at list. Um, they're going to get 24-7 support from Red Hat and faster response times on level one security issues. So anything mission critical, they should be running premium support because it, if it falls over outside business hours or on the weekends, they're going to have to fix that themselves. So why not rely on the, the leading um, open source vendor in the world to, to provide you with technical support if, if that was to happen. Also, with a premium subscription, the customer has access to extended updates ports for free, which is normally a purchasable add-on. This will extend the life of a minor version of Red Hat. So if someone's running Red Hat 6.3 and they want to extend that for a couple of years without having to, to move up to a later version, they get that functionality with EUS and it comes included in premium support. So if a customer has a mission critical app that needs to run on a certain version of Red Hat, that's positioned premium support to give them the 24-7 support and then also make them aware of the um, additional benefits they'll get from EUS which they'd normally have to purchase. So that covers upgrades um, to, to, to support that we can position to the customer. Then we're going to have a look at um, additional subscriptions. Um, first of all, let's ask if the customers had any changes to their environment. As, as mentioned previously, it could be 12 months or three years since the customers last purchased. Let's take a consultative approach, find out what additional servers they might have deployed, um, what versions of Red Hat they're running, um, and um, see if there are any additional subs that they require that we can add into their mix. Again, all or nothing says everything, every machine has to be covered. They can't just pick and choose um, what support they want on the Red Hat model. If they've deployed new rail systems, they need to purchase um, additional subscriptions. Let's ask the customer what version of uh, Red Hat um, Enterprise Linux server they're running. Um, if they're using RHEL 4, it's an older version, they'll probably, uh, they'll require an ELS add-on um, and potentially um, uh, an old minor release would require an EUS uh, add-on as well. Um, and this is something that's quite common. Um, customers don't necessarily update their systems all the time. So there might be a couple of RHEL 4s in there. Um, it's £310 at list um, for an ELS subscription. So again, we're, we're adding, uh, we're increasing the, the, the size of the renewal. Um, let's have a look at what they're using the systems for. Um, can we position any add-ons to extend performance? Uh, contact us, contact Red Hat, and we'll arrange a pre-sales call. Um, with JBoss, as this is all around um, applications, development of systems, has their test pre-port environment expanded? Um, if so, these environments will need to be covered. Um, so we need to be asking those questions to the customer. Do the customer does the customer have any sent, uh, CentOS or SUSE in their environment? Um, these are additional Linux, um, uh, alternative Linux um, uh, uh, versions. Um, if so, let's standardize them Red Hat. There's a lot of customers that um, move to Red Hat because they want a standard operating system platform across their infrastructure going to make it much easier for, for them to manage their systems. So let's be asking those questions um, and, and see if we can position um, Red Hat across the board. Do they have a lot of virtualization in their uh, infrastructure? Um, are they running VMware, um, ESX hosts? Let's position Virtual Data Center. Um, that's going to provide unlimited virtual entitlements per subscription. Um, and it could be we're really simplifying the purchasing process for the customer by by um, positioning that to them. Um, having a look at satellite server, this is a complete management solution as mentioned for their rail systems. Each existing rail server subscription will require a matching additional smart management add-on. So a satellite server, um, the, full, the full version is um, 6,897 at list. Uh, a smart management add-on starts at 100. 
37, I believe, um, at list. So if a customer's got 20 subscriptions, you've potentially increased the deal size by uh, the retard of, of the renewal by 10K there. And it's really um, easy upsell to position that as a complete solution. Uh, the, the, uh, the satellite server also helps to make the renewal stickier um, because essentially the satellite server stops functioning if not renewed on time. Now, if the customer is relying on this to run their infrastructure, they're going to make sure they get that PO to you before expiry date because if they don't, they're, they're, they're going to experience some, um, some uh, pain with their IT systems. Uh, once you've got a satellite in there, we can then um, add capsule servers for more complex environments. So this is pre-sales, but just to just to put that out there so that we can, again, take a more consultative approach and look at their whole environment and how we can um, expand on it. Um, additional products. So this is a really useful slide called the CIO's inter uh, alternative. Essentially, what this shows you on the left is the different types of um, technology requirements um, um, that Red Hat Solutions cover. Uh, in the middle, you've got the traditional proprietary market leaders um, in those areas. And on the right, you've got um, Red Hat's um, alternative products. Now, as mentioned, um, we'll be sending these slides around because this is something that's very useful and, and could be shared around um, at the internal teams. If you look at all the other products in Red Hat's portfolio, we could be talking to the customer about a lot more, uh, many more products. Um, often the case is customers just see Red Hat as a Linux vendor and they haven't yet uh, fully understood what is now in their portfolio. Um, so we can be having those type of conversations uh, um, uh, with, uh, with customers around in real time. Um, academic customers, this is uh, an interesting one. So Red Hat academic subscriptions um, are available on a price list. Um, they're very small in value, only around £55 um, at list. Now these are only to be used for academic purposes. What this means is teaching um, academic labs, student staff, uh, laptops, desktops, they're not to be used for production for customers running um, their infrastructure, uh, their key academic infrastructure on, on Red Hat. So customers running HR systems, SAP systems, library systems, business applications, they need um, uh, production Red Hat subscriptions for, for, for those use cases. Uh, this is an area that I've seen a lot of um, success with, um, with um, moving customers on to the correct model. As in the past, unfortunately, these subscriptions were missold um, by everyone, essentially. Um, so there's been a process over the last um, 12 to 24 months to get customers onto the right model. And, and if you identify a case, um, let's uh, uh, raise that with us and we can look at how we can move the customer onto the correct model. And essentially, you're going to add value to the customer because you're helping them become compliant. Um, and that obviously is, is key to academic institutions. Um, there are site-wide, um, academic site-wide subscriptions available that cover multiple use cases and multiple technologies. Um, these are priced by um, FTE, full-time employee, um, and we do have uh, data um, on the FTE counts for all the academic institutions in the country. Um, so we can work with you um, moving them onto this model. It's going to save them time, potentially going to save them money, um, it covers the whole estate, um, so they don't need to worry about different budgets for different departments. It will cover every single use case and every single um, uh, deployment on, on the estate. In the academic world, there's a lot of free Linux used. Um, this could be CentOS, as mentioned, or Scientific Linux. There are many other Linux versions out there. It's an opportunity for us to replace those systems. Um, and for the customer to standardize on Red Hat, so let's be asking those questions. And there's a lot of virtualization. Again, let's look at Rail Server with the two virtual entitlements or virtual data center um, to make sure um, uh, to potentially simplify the customer's uh, deployment and purchasing process. Um, an easy one, co-terms, multi-year deals. I'm sure this is something you've all had experience, in, uh, experience with across multiple vendors. 
Um, customers got multiple contracts, different Red Hat subscriptions across their estate. Let's position a co-term, aligning um, everything to one date in the future to help align the customer's renewals, simplify procurement, um, tidy everything up for them. We don't really want to be ch necessarily chasing tiny subscriptions here or there. Let's tidy everything up under one uh, co-term deal. Red Hat subscriptions do have to run for a minimum of 12 months. Um, that's one thing to bear in mind. So we might need to look at um, co-terming the subscriptions um, um, 12 months out on the furthest expiring subscription to make sure everything's in line. Uh, let's position a three-year deal as it includes multi-year discount. Position both, um, take it to the next level. Let's provide them with a one-year co-term and a three-year co-term option. Again, really easy upsell and this is something that we do on a daily basis. As previously mentioned, we've got tools to create pricing so we can turn around quotes quickly and accurately. Um, you, you're not waiting days for, for the pricing to come through. We'll get it over to you um, uh, really quickly and, and uh, get it in front of the, the customer. Uh, we could position training and services to the customer, um, a system health check. Um, there's also other pre-made packages Red Hat provides, so standard operating environment as previously mentioned. Um, would any of their um, um, uh, staff or, uh, or colleagues be interested in any Red Hat training? They might want to be certified to become a Red Hat certified system administrator or a Red Hat certified engineer. These are sought after accreditations in the market that the customer can take with them um, even if they leave the organization. Um, and it's not necessarily something that you always think about offering them um, training and, and um, services consultancy. Around satellite, uh, around a satellite server, um, Red Hat released Satellite 6 last year. So there's lots of customers with um, ongoing migrations because Satellite 6 is a, is a, had a lot of changes to it. Um, so this is an op uh, opportunity to position um, consultancy. Um, we work with a number of um, consultancy and services providers. Um, so we can arrange a pre-sales call, um, put together a scope of works, uh, and um, help moving um, help the customer move to Rel6. That consultancy will be um, essentially we, you know we'll be re uh, reselling it through you guys. Um, so this would be something to, to 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 make money on as well. Okay, now to look at handling objections. This is just one slide, just covering some of the basic objections. We could go into a lot of detail here covering different um, uh, cases. I just wanted to cover uh, general um, uh, ways to overcome the most common challenges. And if there's any specific cases, come to us afterwards and we've got a lot of information, battle cards, data sheets to support you. Uh, the key thing, sometimes customers wonder, what, what is it that I get from a Red Hat subscription? Uh, we've, well, we've already gone over that. Um, you can overcome uh, most challenges just with um, emphasizing this to the customer. Oh, okay, this is this is what I get. I'm getting technical support. I'm getting all these benefits from Red Hat. Yeah, sure, I'll, I'll renew. Let's just remind them of, of, of the value. Um, it also could be the all, or, the all or nothing rule. The customer might not want to renew, but if they've got other active subscriptions, they might be uh, obliged to. Um, and obviously, it's um, you know having to kind of get a customer on on um, compliance is not always the the nicest thing. But um, they've essentially signed up to the Red Hat Enterprise Agreement. Let's ensure that um, we've um, passed them the knowledge on of of what their obligations are under that, and work with them to um, uh, make sure everything is covered. Um, they might be questioning. Um, the value of Red Hat again from a technical perspective. They've got other free versions of Linux. Why do I need it? Well, a customer, one of the technical benefits, just to give you an example, a customer can manage, um, a, a, an administrator can manage 174 servers per admin versus 115 for mixed uh, Linux um, deployments. So again, that just reiterates the benefits of standard, uh, the standard operating uh, environment. Move to one platform and um, cut down your administration time and your headache around managing all of that. Um, the customers might lose some compliance and security standards if they're in the academic uh, world, the financial sector. Um, they might need those subscriptions to ensure compliance with some of the, the common um, standards out there. 
Um, so let's review that um, uh, at, at the time. Uh, Red Hat reinvests its profits into the open source community, driving technology and information, uh, innovation. So what, what this means is, essentially, if you stick with Red Hat, you're with the company that drives um, new uh, technologies and, and updates to open source projects. And they're the leaders um, on a number of technologies um, in the open source world. Um, we're, we're making the biggest number of uh, changes and improvements to that. So if a customer goes with a free version of Linux, great for them, but that Linux vendor isn't driving innovation. Um, so you know, arguably, they're getting more value out of Red Hat because of how they're helping shift and change uh, the open source community. Uh, a common one, customers deploying CentOS or looking at Oracle Enterprise Linux. You're going to get a lack of support and updates on, on that. Both of these are essentially clones of Red Hat, rip-offs of Red Hat. Um, so they're behind on the, the updates. So if there's a critical fix, um, a critical issue diagnosed, Red Hat will fix that immediately. Customer could be could be waiting weeks or months um, for CentOS or, or Oracle Enterprise Linux. Do they want to take that risk? Um, probably not. Um, and we've got a lot of information on, uh, you know, if you get into a competitive situation with other Linux vendors, we've got a lot of information on battle cards um, to help you overcome those challenges. Still struggling or the customer has a limited budget, contact Red Hat or CMS for additional support. Let's look at how we can um, work with the customer um, to help them with their with their renewals. And once we understand everything, um, because we can support you uh, around this. So just to review everything, um, we've gone over all of the, all of the um, upsells, the model. This here is the perfect uh, renewal process. So we're um, starting off with Discover. We're investigating the customer's environment, taking a consultative approach. Let's identify what the customer is currently running. Have they removed systems, deployed additional ones? Um, what are their existing pain points? So we can come uh, come up with a, a solution um, for their for their renewal. Um, if we're covering off the value of a Red Hat subscription, we're going to overcome most most challenges. Um, we can uh, educate them around compliance and how it works. The, the obligations around the all or nothing rule. We can then look at simplifying their renewals as discussed, consolidating subscriptions for co-terms, uh, multi-year deals. Uh, we can have a look at uh, three-year deals, as mentioned, uh, length in the contract terms, so the customer's not having to raise POs um, across the board. Let's get it all covered under one deal. Um, and then uh, hopefully now, and once you've um, studied the, 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 the slides, um, once they're sent out, you will now also know how to identify some additional opportunities with your customer, new products, training, and services. Um, and essentially, once you've gone through that process, we close the deal. Often, you might skip to the close bit straight away, which is great, which is ultimately what we're trying to do. But this, this here is the process we've used internally for, for, for a long time, um, and is why we've, we've been so successful. Um, uh, just looking at the resources available to you, so Red Hat do have a um, award-winning partner portal. Um, uh, the link is uh, is there, as you can see. This provides training, sales, technical marketing materials, data sheets, white papers. It's a huge resource um, for, for 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 all you guys out there. Um, as mentioned, it's free. Um, all you need to do is uh, as a Red Hat partner on their website. Um, and you can then access it. It, it includes training, um, uh, technical training, um, so you can get your technical guys um, trained up to a certain degree for, uh, for free. Um, enable all your salespeople for free, um, and it's, it's a great resource. Advanced and premier business partners get actually get a renewals portal, so they can log into their portal and have a look at their renewal data, um, and you can also see where Red Hat are with those uh, renewals. Um, Redhat.com, an obvious one. You've got white papers, reference architectures, webinars, all of those available on Red Hat's website. Obviously, you've got us, your CMS account manager, or me, um, Jonathan Bruff. Uh, there's my number there. Um, anything you need from us, um, whether it be regarding a specific renewal um, or more, or, or you'd like us to come in and train a team, 
um, just let us know. We can arrange one-on-one -on -one time um, and and help and support you. Uh, also, your Red Hat Partner Account Manager. Um, this is for advanced Premier Business business partners. Once you've um, reached that status, you get a, a Red Hat Pam, um, whose job is to manage you, get the best out of you, um, work, on, <coughs> excuse me, uh, work on a business plan, marketing initiatives, strategy, um, all of all of those um, good things. Uh, you've also got the Red Hat Renewals team. Um, they constantly follow up on renewals, as mentioned, with the 90, 60, 30 day process, talking with end customers directly. Um, I can put you in touch with them um, and we can um, work together on that. And just to, uh, Red Hat asked me to put this in there. So the uh, Red Hat partner, uh, partner conference, um, their biannual partner conference, um, is coming up um, October this year. Um, the fourth to uh, on the fourth to the seventh in um, in sunny Frankfurt, uh, Germany. Um, early bird tickets are currently available. Um, I think they uh, they're available to around mid June when 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 it does get uh, a bit more expensive. So um, have a look at um, your uh, speak to that around your uh, with your manager um, and obviously um, uh, let us know um, if we can help you provide any more information because um, at the conference it's a Big, um, big event with keynote speakers, with product announcements um, on different technologies. It's a really good event for everyone to get together, networking. It's really, really useful. Um, so that was it. Um, that's um, on time, essentially. So let's um, have a look at um, any questions you may have asked in the questions section. Um, I can't see that any are there. So I assume that I've done my job and covered everything well around renewals. Um, but as mentioned previously, the slides uh, and the presentation will be going round. So if there's any questions, comments, um, uh, further sessions you'd like to arrange, please please let us know and we'll um, we'll follow up with you on that. So many many thanks for listening today. Um, I hope you've all benefited from from that. Um, and as you've all got renewal pipelines, we can take some um, good actions afterwards and follow up and try and maximize your renewal potentials. Many thanks, everyone.